Yes boys, how's it going? It's your boy 5X and welcome to Inverse Audio. In today's tutorial, I'll be breaking down how to make jump up drum and bass, light head X and many other artists. I'll be covering everything from the drums, sound design, to any mixing tips and any arrangement that you can use to make your beat stand out. This is going to be a bit of a shorter tutorial today, but in the future, stay tuned for longer and more in-depth content. Now, if you like the video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, leave a like and comment down what we should cover next. Now, without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So yes, boys, welcome to FL Studio. Here is the project that I've cooked up for you guys today and I'll be demonstrating every single section. We'll be breaking it down. In the future, I might do videos where I make tracks from scratch, but for Unfortunately, it's all I have time for today. So without any further ado, I'll play the track. Right, okay, firstly, we'll get started with the introduction. So over here, I've got the foundation being this block playing. It's just a sine wave with some delay, reverb, and some compression. For all the drums and samples that you hear in this video, go to inverseaudio.co.uk where you can purchase our brand new drum and bass sample pack number one. Uh, it's filled with over 120 serum presets and over 550 total files. As you can see here, it's absolutely jam-packed with everything that you might need to level up your drum and bass game. Everything from drum loops, drum, drum breaks, drum fills, every single drum that you might need. We've got over th nearly 30 snares, all of which are unique. Uh, yeah, like I said, everything that you need, inverseaudio.co.uk. Back to the tutorial. So this pluck is layered with a respace. Combined with some atmosphere. So this is crucial, some filling out the key elements to, to build up that space and build that tension towards the drop. All together. And already by using four elements, we've achieved such a great big and full sound. Now on top of that, to add some movement, it's this is a very, very prominent thing in drum and bass, and especially jump up. You have a hat every start of the beat up until it drops. So all together, just gives it that nice little bit of movement that is missing. The next crucial thing is going to be your impacts, risers, downlifters. Um, these are going to build a lot of tension. I did a little drum break in here as well. And the build up. Same thing with the kick, but I filtered out some of the frequencies so that when it's playing really fast like this, it's not too overwhelming in the mix. So all together, that sounds like this. All right, 
second part, the most important part, the drop. The foundation of any good drop is a tight kick and a very punchy snare. So I've used um, kick number one and snare number two from my pack. Kick number one sounds like this. It's really beefy, got a lot of low end, everything that you might need. And for the snare, quite stereo, a lot of width to it. And on top of that, we layer some hats. So it's just a simple eighth hat. And then on top of that, I've added a, a top loop from our pack. Very simple. Now to add some variation, you could always shift the second one ever so slightly and lower the volume. It might not make a difference when you're listening to it by itself, but when you add these little things, all these, the swing, it really does make a big difference in your track. Just gonna redo it. So all together, I'm just using four different drum sounds and it sounds like this. Key to having a good drum break is using good samples. Okay, now if we get started with the first section, which is this re bass. Now if we get started with the first bass, it's the re bass, Punisher. Now I did add quite a bit of effects onto this and I'll talk, I'll talk through each one. The first thing on the chain is a decapitator with a punish on. I absolutely love decapitator and this punish will just make your bases stand out using the end style. Next we have OTT. It's got the depth to about 50% and really utilizing the upward compression to bring out the sound. Next we've got an EQ just to bring out some of the highs and, and the, the high mids, take, take the high mids out. And next we've got a compressor just to, just to level out the sound. And then lastly, we've got a nice reverb. So altogether it sounds like this. Very simple, it's just introducing the, the bass. Then next, we have the laser. And I'll break it down how to quickly make a, any laser. So essentially the way it works is you're controlling, um, you're controlling a pitch really fast with this LFO. So that's going down very slowly, but when we increase it, Get that nice sound. This is also uh, emphasized with LFO2 on the level and the comb plus filter. This really does make a difference. It brings out frequencies. Now you can play about with this because this will change the sound massively. If you are struggling to make laser sounds and struggling to make them unique, the number one go-to plugin for jump up drum and bass is Effector using the phaser preset here. If we unclick bypass and just play about. You can already hear that's what every producer uses to get that sound. Even better, so automate the, the Y and X parameters in your track and you will have a unique sounding laser. Next, we have the sub bass, probably the most crucial and underrated thing in your drop. Now, without this, it's not going to hit, it's not going to drive, it's not going to get the crowd moving. So make sure you have a nice beefy sub, not too many harmonics, but enough. Just a few. Here, it's just a two a sine wave and a triangle wave with some distortion and some light compression. So that sounds like this on top of the laser. Very nice. Moving on, we have this uh, seventh bass, which is actually just a fifth layer on top of it. I'll break this bass down. Here's what it sounds like. So the way that this works is all, the sound is pretty much just being controlled by the first LFO. It's set to one foot. And it's just moving this envelope to give it that womp sound. Uh, and LFO one is just controlling the fine tune of oscillator B. Just to give it a little bit of... To give it a bit of variation. And on the effects, we've got a bit of hyper, some distortion, which is crucial. A little bit of chorus, multiband compression, just to bring the sound out again. Some reverb and some EQ, just to lift the highs. Another bass that I have in here is this little womp. Now to break this one down, it's essentially the same thing as the bass before using the LFO. As you can see, it's got 10 parameters. Really controlling our, essentially, 
it just moves the filter, the drive, and the, the levels of oscillator A and B with a bit of FM and some noise in there. Uh, effects really simple, just a bit of distortion and compression. And if we add those bases together, it sounds a little bit something like this. To achieve that skippy sound, I've just, as you can see, added in more notes to re-trigger that bass. So now if we play the drop together, Now for the second half of the drop, um, as you probably have heard in jump up drum and bass commonly, you will get a switch. Um, I've not done a massive switch as to as to per se, but I haven't switched up the bass lines. Um, the melody is round about the same, but instead of having that laser, I've switched to the the pipe the pipe bass, which the whole way it works essentially. I forgot to mention. is if you raise the semitones to plus seven, it will create a fifth, which is what gives that, that characteristic sound. If I just play the basses by themselves, and yeah, all together now. So yeah, boys, that is how you make jump up like headaches and other artists. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and, and got something useful out of it. Leave a comment on what we should cover next. Uh, stay tuned for weekly videos. We'll be having weekly, weekly long form videos and then stay tuned to our and stay tuned for our TikToks, YouTube shorts and Instagram reels as well. Where we post almost daily bass design tutorials, which go a little bit more in depth about the sound design. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll catch you next week. Enjoyed and